Welcome back to another animation analysis and today I want to take a look at The Box Assassin, a film by Jeremy Schaefer. It's a crazy one-man project plus very talented people behind the voice and the music and the sound design. And I want to take a look at some of those shots and sequences. They're so good. Starting off right off the bat with the introduction where you have a camera move and a reveal of <laughs> character coming out. This already cracked me up just having the character fit inside the box and then the montage of where the assassin comes out of. Again, everything comes with the camera move kind of drawing you in. It all comes closer and closer and closer. <laughs> Let's love that. Love that little thing that comes out. It's so good. Ramps up with the intensity, with the speed, but also right off the bat, it's just really well done. Already well animated, all the details, beautiful lighting and composition. Come on, I mean, look at all that. So cool. That being a student project, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Love this too. How they got started with the matchbox. And then bam, into a cool transition too, that it shoots into camera for a cut to black. And then we get into an introduction of the main story. You can see with an establishing shot, already this big in scale. It's not a little tiny thing here. You got your atmospherics, you got your environment effects, you got a big set, nice camera move, a car animation too. Everything is there. It establishes where we are, kind of boxed in. That shows where the characters are here. And I love that too, just that introduction of A with this. It tells us something how the character is, just by closing the doors. It's not like a nice, neat closing, both arms. We don't know yet that he's holding something, but it's just a cool, this is a relaxed, cool character. It's a cool introduction. Bam, then we see, okay, it must be a delivery person because he got the menu or receipt. You can see this here, it matches. Okay, this is character working for this company. Also love this. I always talk about when you have the environment, could be windy, could be snow, could be cold, hot, whatever. The character should be reacting to it. So it feels like the character is part of that environment. And there we go. He did that. Love this too. Just a little hand pose and how to lift this up. But also starting the shot with a basically a walk and talk. It's not a static shot. The character is... There's an interaction here, there are changes of body mechanics, there's movement, there's a forward walk, there's acting, there's so much involved. And that's a cool first shot just to establish A, the character, but also this is the quality behind this short. And then we got, <laughs> reminds me of Voldemort. Got the introduction of the bad guys. Love that too, got just a little bit, you can see this, depending on what kind of monitor you're gonna watch this. But it gives this character not enough room, it's not comfortable space here. It changes focus. And we're getting into a bigger acting moment with clean expressions, clean silhouette, nice poses, nice moves, and moments like that. Just introduction of this is the characters of the weapons. That's the danger that's involved with that little relaxed pinky here. It's great. Still kind of staying hidden here with who the character is in terms of the face. Got the goons coming in, ready for an attack. And again, you got elements coming in from the left, from the right, boxing him in, making it less comfortable. It's really nice framing choice there. All the while the character walks backwards. Nicely framed too with the car, with the highlights so that we can really have the focus on. This is the character here. I'm never forgetting that these are the elements of danger. Still not bothered by the character looking back. But I love that too. The ramp of intensity, getting in, getting closer, ready to shoot, see the intensity in the face, and then bam! The first change, ah, that now triggers this guy to finally look, we get a good look at the face. And I love that too, because even though we see the hands here, for a moment you can think, was that just a ruse? Are the character's hands through the box and it's the character shooting? But then you can see this, you're like, wait a minute, no, 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 this is not what happens. Ah, again, it's the box assassin coming out here. Love that too. Just always ready, regardless of how it jumps, wherever it's ready against the target. You're like, whoa, what is going on? And you get a slight look who the character is. Get a nice look in terms of the render. Nice highlights. Even that, you got a little change in the wrist, movement in the gun, still enough detail animation. Here we can see the full face. You can see detail here that's animated. And then, and getting into a freeze frame, there's voiceovers, so make sure to check out the link in the description with the actual YouTube account and uh, Jeremy's Twitter account as well. But there's voiceover here, so make sure you watch this. There's, I'm gonna skip this and fast forward. And we're going back to him freaking out. fa pang <laughs> Love this too. Good look at some physicality. Again, makes sense. It's wet, he would slip. And again, it's not just a one axis move somewhere. It does move with the curve, the complexity there of that run back. 
and I love this too. So this goes into now the action part, getting into the car. Even for that, you have a little bit of a camera adjustment just for reframing. But you can really sense how he opens up and sits down. There's good weight in that. And then we get into more cool action moments here. You can still see the silhouette. That's nicely done too of this character here. Nice clean pose. Ah, that's cool too. I love all this. I gave you frame. There's something in there. Comes in there slightly hidden. But he realizes that. Opens up the frame into... Just for now, we see some highlights. We see what's going on. Dodges that. Nice line here. <laughs> oh, it just appears again out of a box. It's very consistent where that character is. Oh, and then we get to the back guy. Cool back guy design too. Come on, the design, the lighting, the skin, the facials. But even a shot like this where this is the focus, you still have this character here. If you look at what it does, it's enough detail to see where there's still detail animation here on the brows. Widening here, the ease in. So even though that is off to the side, there's still enough detail and all this and not just in... The main character but even with the main character you can see all the subtle details and the compression there you got your asymmetry and the mouth and the facial expressions everything is there. there's really nice detail in that animation there let's go back a little head accents there too a little flare of the shoulders lots of little detail there in moments like that too when he goes back and says this you can see how the body goes down a little bit and he has a little bit in the shoulder to push himself up and then as he wants to say something he goes up a little bit you can see that as well with the eyebrows Watch this. So even on something like that, just there's always enough detail where the head accent fits the voice, just the voice delivery. You can believe that the voice comes out of this. It doesn't feel like it's just pure body mechanics in the lips. It just kind of gets copy pasted on where nothing else is being influenced. Love that too. Again, just the framing as he comes in, taking up a lot of room, not giving him that much space, making this a bit more threatening. Nice overall look and lighting and composition. And not just on characters, but you get your sliding of the car. You got the wheels turning, the suspension moving. Everything here has detail. <laughs> oh, that's it. But look here as he moves over. Watch the guy on the left. Moves over like, hey, wait a minute. What is going on? Changes. You can see his expression changes to wait a minute. This is cool too. I really, really like this shot too. The composition and the camera move where it goes from car headed towards us. With a slight lead on the camera, we go underneath the car and then into this turn and away. It's really nice. Let's watch this again here. Let's go back. Car goes back. Camera underneath the car. Nice slide. And also enough weight on this. It doesn't ever feel light or just not believable. Even on those little moves in that turn, you can see the little up and down in the car. And then how the car kind of leans and goes up here. Sound design is nice too. And then with the camera move revealing, bam, this guy's still there. So lots of complexity in the shots. Really well done. Really love this. Also lighting wise, it helps with the fog that you got the lights are illuminating this area a bit more. Nice reflections. Just overall, I'm just blown away by the quality of all this. Love that too, where you have that camera reveal where we see focus on this character. And as it moves over, the chair reveals this guy still in danger. The red light on him. More shots with good head accents and movement, all that. Even this on a move like this, where you have watch the shoulder up leads, and then you got that little lean with the head for a nice arc. You can really see that every shot has a lot of love in there. Same with this character, how it transitions. You got that flare on the nose coming in here, almost leading with the chin first. And as it goes up, you can see that little widening of the eye that kind of goes right with the knife. And you can see like no blink, no darts, very intense stare. Again, you got to listen to the sounds. I love that when he does this in this angle. Cha -ching! Very exaggerated sound design. I love this. And that too. He has a couple darts down here. And you can hear in the audio where it goes. Kr -kr -kr. And again, you got to watch this with the sounds. But it tells you something's going on. And you can imagine, well, it's going to be the box assassin coming out of a specific area. Wait for it as it turns around. <laughs> love this too. Great look. And then... Get your freeze frame and voiceover. We scrub forward to fa -ba! reveal out of the tight space again. And that's great too. Just a little detail in the lids, darts, eye darts, processing what's going on. And then, oh no, into that. Cool as well as we can transition from a fa -ba! sound design of the shot into darkness and then come out of that with just the blinding of the headlights. Very cool. Ooh. Also nice again, detail just in the car. Watch this, how the car is animated. 
That's going to really feel that. The sound design is really neat, I gotta say. Opens up here, your next physical shot as it comes out. Oh, that's great too. As the camera kind of re frames here and slowly comes out, it's kind of like, an, you know, that something is coming out of that car and we transition to this showing, yeah, that was him coming out of the car. Nicely shot from below to give him a bit more of an imposing look. Again, with the light and a nice silhouette there as well. And then back into just the framing of, you know, to make someone feel small, more in danger, you got that bigger object coming in and taking up more space in the frame. And then it moves into a more of a friendly banter between the two, realizes actually he's not in danger. That's a cool moment too here. As he looks, just that moment here when he stops looking at the guy. A nice hand pose here, got your offset on the fingers. And just that moment, realize that he's gone. See the lead up here with the eyes. You got soft, he's in on the eyebrows and with the eyelids. You can see that look over and then cut to not there, but also the camera moving back, kind of like having us feel like this is the end of a shot as we're pulling away from that moment here. But you got just enough of the hand here to see. Clean silhouette, nice pose, just everything nice lighting on that too. And then we reach the end with the box assassin title. Also a cool transition into the credits. I'm gonna let this play out here with the uh, elements on the left. So not too long, just long enough, a nice style till the very end. And again, using the headlights here for a cut to the end. Again, really, really impressive amount of work just in terms of Storytelling, the editing, the look and the lighting, the montage, but also right away the animation of it, all the details. And again, it's not super simple. You have complex camera work, you have vehicle animation, you have complex body mechanics, a lot of cool framing and composition ideas and different areas where this takes place. So we have the loading dock here, but then it goes into the car and then back out here. So again, it's really, really impressive work. Make sure to watch the whole thing with sound and music and go through the shots and analyze these frame by frame, as you can see where it's really not minimal animation. You have all really nice facial animation, head accents, lead-ins with the head. Everything has just enough arcs and complexity just to make this really nicely polished. You got your asymmetry in the face, your offsets and nice hand poses in the fingers. So nothing is simple. Everything has a really nice look and style and feel to it. The transitions are nice and how the character reacts to the dangers, the environment, the surroundings, as I said before, just everything feels very believable. And even moments like this, we realize that actually it's not that bad when you can see how he tenses up, a little bit of shaking, and then as he relaxes, you see the squashing here, and as he relaxes, the body goes up a bit, the face relaxes, just little things here and there. It's just really, really well done. And I would say that's it. Congratulations, Jeremy. Really, really awesome work. And if you're still watching until the very end, as always, thank you for your patience. Feel free to subscribe if you want to and check out the rest of the channel for animation lectures and rig reviews and product reviews and all kinds of things. Feel free to browse around. Maybe there's something that you like. And that's it for me. Thank you for watching.